Welcome back to our channel. Today, starting in our bedrooms. A little bit different, we actually never film in our rooms. Yeah, we can't be together at the moment, obviously, which sucks. And I hope everyone is keeping safe and doing well. But I did tweet the other day, do you guys want to see like a room declutter, room tidy up? Never done one of these, so I don't really know how it's going to go. I do need to seriously sort out this room. I was thinking maybe at the end if it looks nice enough I'll give you a quick room tour. I think Elle might be decorating. Not sure what she's going to put in this because she's super organised. I feel like day one of lockdown she already had her wardrobe cleared out, she had her makeup drawers cleared out and um, yeah um, two weeks in and I've still not started that yet. There's a heron. Can you guys see that? Nan? Look at this! I'm not kidding, I just had to run across my road and scare off this heron. Basically my neighbour's got a front garden, it's got like a pond in it and herons eat fish in ponds. And we have a pond and my granddad used to just get really vexed if that happened, so um... Talk about off on a tangent, off on a tangent, that's why I need Elle here, so she's like, come on, let's get it done. I've put some clothes on to keep me going for the day, and I've just washed my hair, it smells unreal. I actually wanted to show you the shampoo and conditioner I've been using. I literally am obsessed, I feel like you would have seen it all over the internet, I definitely did before I even started using it. It's by Function of Beauty, I'll show you close-ups because you're going to like this bit. You can get them personalised, mine says of Sydney May, so function of Sydney May. And that's the conditioner, this is the shampoo. Basically the concept of this is unreal. Basically you personalise your shampoo and conditioner to suit you. So there is a little message on it that says, just for you, unlike you, is anybody. So they have little cute messages on them. The reason I wanted to show you these is because I literally just used them and I just got a whiff of them on my hair and they smell unreal. I feel like whilst we're in a time that we're in at the moment, lockdown, and everyone's a little bit downbeat, I feel like people just need a little lift. I think this is such a cute gift idea. I know I've got a lot of birthdays coming up of family members that I'm not going to be able to see. I think this is such a good idea. It's one of those things that everyone needs shampoo and conditioner. When you order your shampoo and conditioner, you get a little leaflet with it. And I'm just literally going to read you out how I personalised it on the website. Everyone's got different hair. I've naturally got curly slash wavy. It used to be curlier when I was younger, but with heat damage and stuff, my curls have kind of gone. I go on and off of having bleach. So at the moment, I've got blonde in my hair. And you do this little quiz. This how it makes it personal to you which I love. I've put in mind that I wanted anti-frizz, replenished hair, curl definition, strengthening and deep conditioning. All the elements are in my shampoo and conditioner. You also pick the colour that you want. So I chose pink. You have blonde hair, like really blonde hair. You can have the purple shampoo, which gets rid of like, the brassy tones. One of my favourite parts is that you get to choose the smell. I've got this little hair serum from them and also you get these personalised so it says Function of Sydney May on the hair serum. It's so aesthetically pleasing. Function of Beauty know how much we love their stuff so they've kindly, kindly, kindly given us a link for 20% off your first order. It is specific to certain countries so we'll leave all the information in the description box. But without further ado, I'm actually going to start my room now and I literally don't even know where to start. I've got to do my bedding, I've got to do out my makeup drawers. I feel like you guys will like makeup more so I might start off showing you through my makeup drawers. Hey guys, so welcome to my room. My version of this part of the video is going to be a bit different. You might be able to see in the background. <laughs> I'm going to be kind of renovating as much as possible um i'm not doing obviously a complete makeover i don't have the access to do that at the moment obviously a lot of places are closed not much point because we are supposed to be moving out in the summer but i'm gonna be yeah redecorating painting a little bit taking down my wallpaper and just kind of giving my room a little bit of a freshen up i've only got one wall that is wallpapered um, and yeah, all the other walls are just a little bit battered. I do want to paint all the walls white. Once I do move out, it's just a, pl a blank canvas for when my mum and dad want to just have it as a spare room. By the way, this co-ord is from 
nasty girl and it's just like a knitted um shorts and a jumper Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all First things first, this is where my makeup drawers are I have the Alex drawers Why does that not shut? It's because i got too much in there Two of these, and I'm not going to lie They've not even all got makeup in It's mainly these ones over here This mirror is so and this is from Ikea as well. I love these. I know a lot of people that have these. They're actually quite pricey for Ikea. You know? I think they're like £39. But really nice sturdy mirror. Okay, so this straw, primers, foundations, that's it. Don't know why I planned it like that because the drawer below you'll see is also foundations. Don't know why I haven't just put all the foundations in one drawer. Eyebrow product. I store my stuff in Chinese takeaway tubs, by the way, guys. They're great. They're free with your food. So you don't have to order loads of drawer fitters. And also, they fit perfectly. So this is setting powders, bronzers, highlighters. So then we've got highlighters. Blush. Blush? Yeah. Lips and eyeliners. Ugh. Our mascaras. This is so messy. Next, right, <laughs> this is where I'm just confused. This is all palettes, but obviously, like, if I want a palette at the bottom, I don't even know it exists at this point. So, I need to figure out a way of storing these, because the only palettes I ever see are the top ones. And then we've got fake tan, which I don't have too many fake tans, but, yeah, there's even just wrappers. Next drawer is bags see i don't even fill up these with all makeup these are just makeup bags i travel quite a lot so i need to grab makeup bags on the guy bottom one is i think this is just like memories <laughs> it's also boarding passes yeah this is memory drawer this drawer is beauty blenders oh, i don't really know you can see more than i can it's just a mess but i promise you i'd show you <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing I'm consistent with. Sunglass collection. Oh my god, this drawer. Again? Not really sure. This is scrapbook drawer. This has all my photos in and stuff. And just like tape. There's actually a lot of stuff downstairs because I've been scrapbooking. This drawer again. Very random. Very not used well. <sighs> again. A mess. And then another mess. Bit of a problem. I actually do have makeup bags at the moment full of makeup. So I need to go through these as well and put them in my drawers. I also have a dressing table over here which has some makeup in it. I'm not going to lie, it doesn't have a lot in. No time like the present. I'm going to set you up and we're just going to go through. Okay? <laughs> I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left Okay, it is a little bit later now I think the last... Oh, I think the last thing was the time lapse of the wallpaper coming off And since then I've used the steamer <laughs> The wallpaper steamer on my own Which was... A bit scary but you know we did it all the wallpaper is off and you're probably confused because obviously most of it is white and then we've got a pink like strip <laughs> basically when i was younger my room was pink and my wardrobes used to be here um but the part of the wall that was showing was this bit and yeah we just painted that bit pink and then obviously it was wallpapered so it didn't matter but now we're going to paint it, by we, I mean me, um, I'm going to paint the whole room white. Without further ado, let's get painting. Melodies we haven't played, no I don't want no rest, echoing around these walls, fighting to create a song. Um, I think 
the camera stopped when I was doing the first coat of paint. Um, but I'm going to show you the update. I'm actually, I've actually just started the second coat. Um, but yeah, so far, sorry I'm a bit sweaty. So far, this is what it's looking like. So this part you can still see a little bit of the pink. But I've not actually done the second coat of that yet. I'm not going to um, film me painting anymore because it's not going to be like satisfying. Because um, it's just white and white. So yeah, I'm going to get going with the second coat. And then to be honest, I'll probably check in with you tomorrow because I'm going to let that dry. So far, so good. Okay, my drawers are finally done. It took so much longer than I thought. So I'm going to show you what I've done. That's my everyday makeup bag. So it's got some products in it. And here is just foundations now. So I've got one, two, three, four, five tubs. I don't use all of them every day. But these are ones that I would wear this is a bit mixed so i've got benefit brow products which is the only brow products i use all my concealers so liquid concealers this is the only color correct that i use and then we've got setting sprays primers primers and then it gets very busy but Oh, if there's one thing that I have a lot of but I can't decide what ones to get rid of, it's bronzers. I love bronzers. I love looking bronzy. Who remembers when MUA one pound bronzer was my hype? I still have loads. I've got them slotted down the edges here. Setting powders at the back. And then we've got some highlights. This is blush. So this whole tub is blush. There's liquid blushes and there's powder blush. There's more liquid highlights here. And then there's more pan highlights here. And then at the back I've got highlighter palettes some Huda Beauty and then I've got some illuminators this drawer hasn't changed too much it was just a bit messy and I've thrown some out the eyeliners mascaras some MAC lipstick bullets which I have had for years I just can't bring myself to throw them away because I used to save so hard so so hard to buy these so I just can't throw them mainly I use like liquid lip this drawer is palettes so i've gone through and i've taken some palettes out i've rearranged so i can see a bit better as you could probably see before everything was kind of like underneath each other and still i don't know the best way to stack palettes if they were all this size i could kind of be like a bookshelf but there's some really big ones from beauty bay so they have to be flat this is what I'm going with. I can see a lot better than before. This drawer is fake tan and some little eye glitters and tiny, what are they called? Little pots of eyeshadows. Some more fake tan, fake tan mitts. This is just, as it was before, makeup bags. I've just put loads of makeup bags into one big one. This one is staying as my memory drawer for now. I need to go through all this and sort it out and put some stuff in the scrapbook drawer. I just don't like this side at all. I just don't know what to do with it. I do always put my beauty blenders in here and this little um, deal brush I really like and it just doesn't really go with my other brushes because my other brushes are in a pot which we'll see in a bit. This is just random stuff like lip balm and mini deodorant, hand sanitizer, sun cream. Wear your SPF every day guys. This is good. Sunglasses. My sunglasses are back to normal, probably won't stay like this. I've actually gone into two drawers for my shades now. And I also have quite a lot of plain glasses. Some of these are blue light from Key, which stops you from getting headaches from looking at screens for ages. This drawer is like hair products and the odd thing that won't fit in my makeup drawers. This is like a body glow from Stila. And the rest is pretty much hair oils, dry shampoo. This drawer is creams, so random creams. I can't lie to you, I only really use La Roche-Posay now, but this is creams that I do still like. I just don't use them at the moment. From Peter Thomas Roth, um, really expensive actually. I don't know why I don't use this more, I bought this in LA. This is supposed to be really good for my pigmentation. Scrapbook drawer, I love this drawer. <laughs> won't change it just because it's so easy for me to grab it and just add some stuff to my scrapbook i actually have big scrapbooks that don't fit in here which is annoying but i just store them in other cupboards this drawer is hair dryer curlers i actually am missing some curlers I need to find them i've got like the thick barrel from beauty works which creates waves this is the waver the molly may curl kit a hair dryer and then i've got my ghd hair dryer and straighteners over the other side of the room because i use them every day this drawer is stuff I've not touched, not opened, it's not 
it's new it's ready to use it's got some polaroid pictures and it's stuff i will grab for at some point but just haven't opened it yet and then this bottom drawer is like miscellaneous is that the word miss i can't say certain words i love this picture um a subscriber gave us this once it's a little stitched sydney by molly bennett and i've just i love it i got it at god i can't even remember a couple years ago now yeah this drawer is kind of random again but i just needed a random drawer just to put like my apple watch charger that i don't know where the apple watch is but i'm sure i'll come across it at some point and those are the alex drawers done I don't want to miss a beat And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands Through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands Through the highways And on Okay, we've made it over to my dressing table. This is the Malm dressing table from Ikea. It's the most random thing ever. I just don't use it. But then I feel like I should put my everyday products in this drawer. So I'm going to sit here and figure it out. I'm going to time lapse you and I'm going to clear it out. And I'm not going to lie to you. 99% of the stuff in here is going to go in the bin. I don't want to miss a beat. later since I've actually spoke to you um the painting took a little bit longer than I thought but only because of how many coats it needed um and I've actually still not done the whole room but that is number one for the sake of this video because otherwise it's going to take me another like god knows how many days number two I'm running very low on paint and I don't know when I'm going to be able to get some more so I've done half of my room already and that was the main part that i wanted to do anyway it was the part with the wallpaper um and the part that you see as you come in with my bed and everything but the other side is just a very pale gray and yeah it's not concerning me that much at the moment i'm going to try and not leave it too long i've got some white bedding which i've had for ages and this is from matalan and my mum got it for me a while ago this is what it's gonna look like obviously i'll show you once it's on the bed but um yeah this will really help bring it together at the moment i've got a very light gray bed in let's change that i don't want to miss a beat okay who's ready for a little room tour we've been asked to do a room tour for years actually since we started youtube it's just one of the things we never got around to my room's never tidy now it's getting to a stage where we'll be moving out very soon these won't be our bedrooms for much longer and this bedroom has been my room since i think i've been in this room since i was about 10 and i love my room but i'll talk you through it as i go through walking in i've got a glittery gray wallpaper on this wall and i'll talk about that wall in a minute but i've had these wallpapers up for years i've loved them still I've had this wallpaper up and this wallpaper up for about 10 years probably so this is the newest addition to my room. It is my beautiful Hollywood mirror. And this is from a shop called Fish Pools. If I can find a link, I'll link it down below. It is fairly local-ish to me. I don't know if it's a chain, but then it's quite famous. I do think people travel to this furniture shop because it is a really nice furniture shop. I wanted a Hollywood mirror for years. My nan said no. She said it was chavvy when I was younger. She was like, you'll get bored of it. I know what you're like. And then I recently got this and now she's got one in her room, identical. Funny one that. I love this mirror so much. It's so clear. I can do my makeup in the best light ever. I could film videos here. Just look at the light. Excuse how oily I look. But this is my Malm dressing table from Ikea, like I said. Tidied out the drawer today. Yeah, it's just got my everyday needs. My little... Brush holders are from Ikea, just plant pots. This is a jewellery box that Nan got for myself and Elle as a thank you 
for throwing her a 70th surprise party. This is something I will have forever. It's got my jewellery in it and I love it. It goes in my room really nice. Cute little card from Bay. I've got a big mirror. My auntie actually works for like a mirror business so she made me most of the mirrors in my room. Got some hanging, you know, thingies. Little wish it, dream it, do it, which Nan got for me and Elle when we first started YouTube. These sets of drawers aren't very me, but they go in my room so cute that I do like it. But if I saw that in a shop on its own, I'd be a bit like, ugh. This is from Next, but little hack. I went to like a Next outlet and has a tiny little chip on it which i've been meaning to like put nail varnish on or something and because it had a chip in it it was 100 pound cheaper than it was supposed to be so i'm not that fussed about the chip and it's just a cute little bedside table for me this is my little cup from benefit and photo of me and my granddad which is always next to me. Bed is the biggest asked question this bed is from the range really cheap i'm pretty sure it was under a hundred pound. I love this bed. Don't think I'll be taking it to my new flat. I probably will leave everything in this room here other than my Alex drawers. My wallpaper, both my wallpapers. So this is glittery gray and this is, I know it's a city. I want to say it's Milan. I fell in love with this as soon as I saw it and I do love it still. I've never seen wallpaper like it. I've never seen anyone have anything like it. My bedding is always white. This is from, I want to say Ikea. We love Ikea in this house. I don't know where this is from. I want to say Asda, you know. Over here I've got <coughs> two big Velcro boxes kind of thing. These have gym wear in. So over there has got gym wear. Over here is like comfy-ish sports bras and bras here is like random i don't know what's in this bit i can see a onesie <laughs> nice white blinds i showed you this bit earlier my two alex drawers i've got two shelves with pictures on my perfumes this way is my wardrobe so i've got one two three wardrobes all mirrored i've had these wardrobes in here it must have been as soon as i came in here and they were brown my auntie put mirror on them so she literally just measured them got the strips of mirror stuck them on and put handles on it's technically custom but you can do stuff like this in ikea and then on top i've got ikea boxes which store just random stuff that i want but i don't need often that is it my room hasn't been this tidy in a very long time so you guys have motivated me to tidy it and my nana is going to be very grateful hope you enjoyed this little tour and a mini declutter my first time doing a little declutter whilst filming it was a bit hard because i'm on my own let me know if you like my bedroom and let me know how you think i should decorate my bedroom in my new flat which will be hopefully at the end of summer stay tuned we'll definitely be doing a lot of videos when we move out throw it back over to l Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you. Stay safe. Stay at home. And we'll see you in our next video. Do leave down below in the comments any videos that you want to see. Remember, they're going to have to be separate. See you next time. Final part of this video is going to be a little room tour. I am so pale. Nothing majorly exciting. And obviously, I've been decorating. And it's not fully kind of finished. But um, yeah, let me turn you around. As soon as you walk in the door... This is what you see. And straight away you see my bed, which now has white sheets and they're so creased. They obviously need an iron. But um, yes, yeah, so we have my bed. And then this wall again is the wall that I've painted. Definitely need some kind of mirror or picture or something because it's really plain at the moment. But um, yeah, this used to be the black wallpaper and it looks so much brighter and better. Um, and then I just have some bags hanging on here. Side of the, the room. And we've got my wardrobes, which are mirrors, mirrored wardrobes. So, I mean. And then this is never is not usually here. It's usually down there. But that wall is quite wet at the moment. So I want to avoid um, putting things there until it's completely dry. But these are just like PR boxes that I keep for work and just to store things in. Also got some Ikea Alex drawers. I know Sid has two of these in her room and she's showing you them. Um, I will quickly show you what's in them. So the first one is 
kind of jewellery, hairbands, clips, earrings, some sunglasses at the back. Some makeup that doesn't fit in my everyday drawers. Everyday drawers being over there where I do my makeup. Then out then I've got some more makeup. This little tub is from Ikea. This is a bit of a random drawer. Things that I need to kind of remember to have like invites, some stick on nails, which I ordered the other day and I'm gonna have to use because I can't get my nails done at the moment. This is my hair products and perfumes. So yeah, like deodorant as well. And then hairspray, dry shampoo and then all my favourite perfumes. Another little random drawer. I've got a couple of books in here. So it got me this. I've actually read some of it. The Book of Rules for finding Mr. Right. <laughs> it's a little bit of a joke, but it's actually quite interesting to read. Um, a little notebook, some chocolate stashes. Um, this is literally stuff that I've had like in PR. Um, and yeah i kind of keep it there i forget this there to be fair like dust bags that i've had sent in pr again and they're really handy to keep for like packing things to go on holiday so like underwear bikinis dirty washing the drawer is electrics so a lot of my chargers plugs portable chargers headphones this drawer is some documents i keep all of our receipts in this box and then every month we go through them and we send them to our accountant. And then the last drawer is a lot of documents that I need to keep but don't really look at all the time. So it's like insurance documents, things about our apartment. This side of the wall, which I've got a big mirror. Um, this is from Ikea. It's just on a box to kind of prop it up. Um, I did want it on the wall at some point. It's just a really nice mirror, so yeah. I've got two more sets of drawers from Ikea as well. So on top, I've just got some more um, books this is from Benefit. How cute is that? It lights up. Some candles. This box that Sid already mentioned, Nan got for us. And yeah, it's so cute. It was a thank you for her party and something I'll always keep as well. The perfume I wear every day. This is full of lipsticks. This was a PR parcel from NARS. Um, yeah, it looks so cool and yeah, I love that. I just have some clothes in these drawers, underwear, pajamas, joggers, things like that. Again, I'll show you what's in the drawers, but on the table, I just have this IKEA mirror with some headbands on it, some makeup brushes, and then <laughs> I feel like a lot of the stuff in our rooms are pretty similar but yeah nan also got this for me and then this is my everyday makeup drawer so products that i use every single day and then in the other drawer is the foundations that i use every day um some moisturizers things that didn't fit in the other drawer yeah that is pretty much my room in a nutshell i said it's not completely finished but at the same time there's not much point in me doing it up like drastically because hopefully i'm not going to be living here um by the end of the year hope you guys enjoyed this little video i think it was quite a long video of both of our rooms hope you guys are staying safe at home hopefully we can be together soon to make some more videos but in the meantime we'll just have to keep doing them separately which to be fair is working out pretty well so far fingers crossed but yeah we'll see you guys soon and thanks for watching bye Thank <laughs> you.